Marmaduke's Hornpipe. <laughs> As of roses where a rose never grew, great drops on the bunch grass, but not of the dew, a taint in the sweet air for wild bees to shun, a stain that shall never bleach out in the sun. Back, steed of the prairies, sweet songbird, fly back, wheel hither, bald vulture, gray wolf. Call thy pack. The foul human vultures have feasted and fled. The wolves of the border have crept from the dead. From the hearths of their cabins, the fields of their corn, unwarned and unweaponed, the victims were torn. By the whirlwind of murder, swooped up and swept on to the low, reedy fenlands the marsh of the swan. With a vain plea for mercy, no stout knee was crooked. In the mouths of the rifles, right manly they looked. Now paled the May sunshine, O Mare de Seine, on death for the strong life, on red grass for green. Strong men of the prairies, mourn bitter and wild, Wail, desolate woman, weep, fatherless child. 
but the grain of God springs up from ashes beneath, and the crown of his harvest is life out of death. Not in vain on the dial the shade moves along to point the great contrasts of right and of wrong. Free homes and free altars, free prairies and flood, the reeds of the swan's marsh whose bloom is of blood. On the lintels of Kansas that blood shall not dry. Henceforth the bad angel shall harmless go by. Henceforth to the sunset, unchecked on her way, shall liberty follow the march of the day. Get out. 
Our boys looked nice and neat when they formed upon the street. You could tell that sauerkraut was not their feeding. Our men were straight and tall, the Dutch were thin and small, a disgrace to our happy land of Canaan. Oh, 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 ah, ah, ah. the time of our glory is a coming. We yet will see the time when all of us will shine by the hatches from the happy land of Canaan. The people gave three cheers for the handsome volunteers, which raised the Hessians' indignation. They fired on our brothers, killing sisters, wives, and mothers. But we'll avenge them in the happy land of Canaan. Oh, 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 ah, ah, ah. the time of our glory is a coming. We yet will see the time when all of us will shine by the hatches from the happy land. Glory is 
when I comes from der Deutsch country, I work sometimes at baking, and then I runs a beer saloon, and then I try shoe making. But now I march mit musket out to save that Yankee eagle. They dress me up in soldier's clothes to go and fight with seagull. Ja, das is true, I speaks mit you, we goes to fight mit seagull. I get sign big time rifle gun and puts him to my shoulder. Then I march around like a big jack horse or maybe something bold. I goes off mid the volunteers to save their Yankee eagle and to give them rebel fellers fits. I goes to fight with Seagull. Yeah, das is true. I speak with you. He goes to fight with Seagull. For Russians, they give salty pork. I think that was a great sell. I better like the sauerkraut, the schnitzel, and got some bread. So if fighting Joe will give us them, we'll save their Yankee eagle. Und I'll put my Frau in breech loons to go and fight with Seagull. Ja, das is true. I speak mit you. He goes to fight with Seagull. The Deutschen men mit Seagull's bond, but fighting got no rival. And when Jeff Davis wins, we meet, we shock him like the devil. There's only one thing that we fear when battling for the eagle. We won't get not no lager beer when we goes to fight with Seagull. Ja, das is true, I speak with you, he goes to fight with Seagull. And 61, Whistle Trigger picked up his long tom gun, went down south with old Pap Price, fighting for Missouri and for Southern Rise. They whipped General Lyon down at Wilson's Creek, mopped up Lexington in just about a week. Things was getting hot for the butternut boys, hightailed it down into Arkansas. Run Johnny Whistle Trigger, Federals will get you. Run Johnny Whistle Trigger, better get away. Run Johnny Whistle Trigger, Federals will get you. Run Johnny Whistle Trigger, better get away. Johnny got a hankering to see his wife. He asked for a leave from old Pap Price. Pap said, Johnny, you can have your way. Be back next month by the 14th day. Johnny rode his mule both day and night, made it up to Boonville and looked up his wife. But early next morning at the break of day, Johnny woke up when he heard his wife say, Run, Johnny, what's the trigger? Better get you. Run, Johnny, what's the trigger? Better get away. Run, Johnny, what's the trigger? Better get you. Run, Johnny, what's the trigger? Better get away. They took Johnny prisoner and they marched him down to a fort they had built at the edge of the town. Put him to work with the kitchen crew. Johnny said this will never do. Late one night when the guard got drunk, Johnny took a chance and he showed his spunk. He made a grab for his long tom gun, smacked that guard and he started to run. Run Johnny, what's the trigger? Better as it get you. Run Johnny, what's the trigger? Better get away. Run Johnny, what's the trigger? Better as it get you. Run Johnny, what's the trigger? Better he ran till he came to the river bluff bed, climbed on down and he hid in a cave. Early next morning Johnny heard a man say, I think he's down there, don't let him get away. Johnny busted out and took him by surprise, his long time caught him, fell right between the eyes. He jumped in the river and he started to swim, the Union boys all shooting at him. Run Johnny, what's the trick of better was a bitch? Run Johnny, what's the trick of better get away? Run Johnny, what's the trick of better was a bitch? Johnny was better get away. He swam on down to the Osage mouth, took that river and he headed on south. Just like he promised when he went away, reported in the map on the 14th day. Old Pat made him a colonel on the spot. His friends was amazed that he hadn't got a shot. He said he owed it all to his long time gun, knowing when to stand and knowing when to run. Run Johnny was the trigger, better was a bitch. Run Johnny was the Run Johnny with the trigger, better rules will get you. Run Johnny with the trigger, better get away.
Fellow citizens, in the month of June last, I was called to command a handful of Missourians who nobly gave up home and comfort 
to espouse in that gloomy hour the cause of your bleeding country, struggling with the most causeless and cruel despotism known among civilized men. When peace and protection could no longer be enjoyed but at the price of honor and liberty, your chief magistrate called for 50,000 men to drive the ruthless invader from a soil made fruitful by your labors and consecrated by your homes. To that call, less than 5,000 responded. Out of a male population exceeding 200,000 men, one in 40 only stepped forward to defend with their persons and their lives the cause of constitutional liberty and human rights. Where are those 50,000 men? Are Missourians no longer true to themselves? Are they a timid, time-serving, craven race, fit only for subjection to a despot? Where are our Southern rights friends? We must drive the oppressor from our land. I must have 50,000 men. Now is the crisis of your fate. Now the golden opportunity to save the state. Now is the day of your political salvation. The time of enlistment for our brave band is beginning to expire. Do not tax their patience beyond endurance. Do not longer sicken their hearts by hope deferred. They begin to inquire, where are our friends? Who shall give them an answer? Oh, it was on March the 7th in the year of 62. We had a sore engagement with Abe Lincoln's crew. Van Dorn was our commander, as you remember me. We lost 10,000 of our men near the Indian Territory. Pat Price come a-riding up the line, his horse was in a pace. And as he gave the word retreat, the tears rolled down his face. Ten thousand deaths I'd rather die than they should gain the field. From that he got a fatal shot which caused him to yield. At Springfield and Carthage Many a hero fell At Lexington and Drywood As near the truth can tell But such another carnage As ever I did see Happened at Old Pea Ridge Near the Indian Territory I know you brave Missouri boys we're never yet afraid. Let's try and form in order, retreat the best we can. The word retreat was passed around, it caused the heathen cry. Helter skelter through the woods, like lost sheep we did fly.
Well, I seen Big Joe as he got his horse and set himself for a ride. He wore a coat of the blackest black and his gun strap by his side and his gun strap by his side. And I says, Big Joe, where do you go? Do you go to the Cantrell side? For the night is black and your coat is black And your gun strap by your side And your gun strap by your side And I says, Big Joe, oh yes, I know They stole your fair young bride But you lost your wife and you lose your life If you go to the Cantrell side If you go to the Cantrell side I says, Big Joe, oh, don't you go, don't you go to the Cantrell side, don't you go to the Cantrell side. Bitter Creek was bare and they caught him there, and that was the place where he died. They killed him in his black, black coat And his gun strap by his side And his gun strap by his side They had passwords that only the initiated understood, and signals which meant everything or nothing. A night bird was a messenger, a day bird a courier. They knew the names or the numbers of the pursuing regiments from the shoes of their horses, and told the nationality of troops by the manner in which twigs were broken along the line of march. They could see in the night like other beasts of prey, and hunted most when it was darkest. No matter for a road, so only there was a trail, 
and no matter for a trail, so only there was a direction. When there was no wind, and when the clouds hid the sun or the stars, they traveled by the moss on the trees. In the daytime, they looked for this moss with their eyes, and in the nighttime, with their hands. Living much in fastnesses, they were rarely surprised, while solitude developed and made more acute every instinct of self-preservation. By degrees, a caste began to be established, free to come and go, bound by no enlistment and dependent upon no bounty, hunted by one nation and apologized for by the other. Merciful rarely and merciless often, loving liberty in a blind, idolatrous fashion, half reality, half superstition, holding no crime so bad as that of cowardice, courteous to women amid all the wild license of pillage and slaughter, steadfast as faith to comradeship or friend, too serious for boastfulness and too near the unknown to deceive themselves with vanity. Starved today and feasted tomorrow, victorious in this combat or decimated in that, receiving no quarter and giving none. Astonishing pursuers by the swiftness of a retreat or shocking humanity by the completeness of a massacre. A sable fringe on the blood-red garments of civil war or a perpetual cutthroat in ambush in the midst of contending Christians. Is it any wonder that in time the guerrilla organization came to have captains and leaders and discipline and a language and fastnesses and hiding places and a terrible banner unknown to the winds?
Come all you bold robbers and open your ears And Quantrill the Lionheart you quickly shall hear For this band of bold robbers in double quick time They came to burn Lawrence just over the line All routing and shouting and giving the yell Like so many demons just raised up from hell The boys they were drunken on powder and wine They came to burn Lawrence just over the line they came to burn Lawrence, they came not to stay They rode in one morning at the break of the day Their arms were a-waving, their horses a foam Quantrill was riding his famous gray roan All routing and shouting and giving the yell Like so many demons just raised up from hell The boys, they were drunken on powder and wine They came to burn Lawrence And got in a fright He crawled in a corn crib To get out of sight 
All routing and shouting and giving the yell Like so many demons just raised up from hell The boys, they were drunk and the powder and wine They came to burn Lawrence just over the line Old Quantro's a fighter, a bold-hearted boy A brave man or woman he'd never annoy Take from the wealthy and give to the poor For brave men there's never a bolt on his door All routing and shouting and giving a yell Like so many demons just raised up from hell Boys, they were drunk in the powder and wine They came to burn Lawrence just over the line
Union folks way up north were one time much afraid about something coming from the south. They said it was a raid. Now I will tell you what it was. You will just keep cool. It had long ears and a long slick tail called Joe Shelby's Shout, boys, make a noise. The Yankees are afraid that something's up and else to pay when Shelby's on a raid. Up close to Lexington And every time he gave a snort He made the blue coats run Coming back through old Celine He got into a trap And he seared old Brown Kicked up his heels And he came back safe from the tap Shout, boys, make a noise The Yankees are afraid That something's up and hell's to pay When Shelby's on a raid Once I went to see old Abe, found him in a rage Because this mule had started north and just then crossed no stage Indeed his anger knew no bounds, says I's are breaky cool I can't say he I've lost so much by Shelby's long tail Shout, boys, make a noise, the Yankees are afraid That something's up and hell's to pay when Shelby's on a raid Rosie got a long dispatch, it came from way down east Saying take some 30,000 men to try and catch that beast To obey orders he was bound, but he said Abe was a fool And he hadn't halter strong enough to hold Joe Shelby's mule Shout, boys, make a noise, the Yankees are afraid That something's up and hell's to pay when Shelby's on a raid Say our state did not succeed, but let me tell you now That if she did or if she didn't, we'll have her anyhow Let us alone, we'll do the same, that is the southern rule If that won't do, we'll pack the state down south on Shelby's view Shout, boys, make a noise, the Yankees are afraid That something's up and hell's to bear and Shelby's on the way Shout, boys, make a noise, the Yankees are afraid In the fall of 1864, Christ made his final raid. Came marching out of Arkansas with his ragged eight brigades. With Shelby Fagan, Marmaduke, and the Swamp Fox Thompson, too. Thought he'd take St. Louis from the Union boys in. On his good gray horse, Bucephalus, Christ led Missouri's son. To Fredericktown, to Pilot now, and Grim Fort Davidson. But there that devil Ewing made the rebel soldiers pay. And Christ lost 1,500 men before he rode away. So boys and when we call, take 
our legion strong. Knights of the golden circle, command all in the rebel throng. And we'll raise the banner high once more and give the rebel yell. Follow us to victory or march with us through hell. Battered but not beaten, Christ was forced to change his plan. He turned west toward Jeff City, thinking there he'd make his stand. But Pleasanton was after him, so Christ kept moving on. Through Boonville, Glasgow, Marshall, and on up to Lexington. He marched toward independence and he crossed the little blue, outflanking Blunt and Jennison and Colonel Moonlight too. But ahead of him was Curtis and behind was Pleasanton, and Price was now outnumbered by more than two to one. So boys and Make our legion strong Knights of the golden circle Come and join the rebel throng Then we'll raise the banner high once more And give the rebel yell Follow us to victory Or march with us through hell The days were turning colder and the trees were all aflame When the last fierce fatal battle just outside of Westport came At Rush Creek and at Byram's Ford brave soldiers fought and died But the Union's greater numbers finally turned a bloody tide So Price limped south toward Texas, and now all could sense the fate, not only of Missouri, but of all the southern states. The war would soon be over, all the fighting would be done, and Lincoln's cause of liberty would finally be won. So boys and Make our legion strong Knights of the golden circle Come and join the rebel throng Then we'll raise the banner high once more And give the rebel yell Follow us to victory Or march with us through hell Follow us to victory Or march with us through hell
from day to day Things side by side in this broad band I wear the blue and gray I had two brothers long ago Two brothers blithe and gay One wore the suit of northern blue And one of southern gray One heard the roll call of the south And linked his fate with Lee The other bore the stars and stripes With Sherman to the sea Each fought for what he thought was right And fell with sword in hand One sleeps amid Virginia's hills And one in Georgia's sand But the same sun shines on both their 